I did it again. I got another camper. <laughs> But, but this time it really wasn't my fault. It, it kind of just happened and I couldn't help it. And um, it fell into my lap, so to speak. I was walking Smudo in the morning and I came by this sad and old and dirty, tiny camper. So I asked the guy what the plan for this was and he said that he wanted to sell it. And I asked him how much he wanted for it and he didn't know and he was very unsure if he really wanted to sell it or not. So. I thought maybe I can trade with him. So I went back to my shop and was looking for stuff that I could offer him. And then I found my old track saw. I bought this probably like eight, nine, ten years ago. It was actually my first ever saw and it's a great machine. But in the meantime, I got the new version. So I thought this might be a good deal because I know he likes to build stuff. So yeah, <laughs> he agreed. I mean, what was I supposed to do? This tiny little camper, it looked so lonely and cold and dirty. And I just wanted to make sure it gets in good hands. And the only way to make sure was to, to get it. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know. I don't know what it is about me and campers, but every year in spring, it seems that I have to have a camper project. And this year, this is mine. To be honest, I didn't really know what I was trading for. I didn't take a closer look at it. I just wanted to rescue this tiny camper. And when I inspected it, it really seemed <laughs> that I got the shorter end of the stick here. This thing is beat up. And did I mention that it doesn't have any paperwork? So yeah, <laughs> maybe it wasn't the best deal of my life. <laughs> There's only one thing that can make a difference between a very bad decision and a very cool camper, and that is elbow grease. So let's go. Aber der kippt nicht, also der... Das ist nicht schon, ne? <lacht>
And just when you think it can't get any worse, you start scrubbing the inside. It was bad. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> After two days of hardcore cleaning the tiny camper, I am actually a little bit more hopeful that this might turn into something. There are two more things I need to do. One is to fix the holes in the roof. There are three holes that I need to cover. And the second thing is the electronics, because so far I couldn't keep anything that was inside the camper. Everything had to go out. And I have a suspicion that it might be the same thing <laughs> with the electronics, because it is a mess. <laughs> After all this time and work I put into the camper, it really doesn't feel like I made a super bad deal after all. I am starting to see the potential and I'm really getting excited to turn this old and sad and lonely camper into a pretty, pretty cool project. Next week, my plan is to rebuild the furniture, fix the floor, the ceiling, and maybe rebuild the electronics. <laughs> I hope I can get it done, but we will see how far I get. Again, without spending any money, hopefully. So until then, please take a second and check out the wonderful people and friends and brands that I work with, the sponsors that make all of this possible. I have links to all the cool people down below in the description. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye.